Hi, this is Scott Keeler, Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for this video, I'm going to be discussing something uh, that is a purely cosmetic modification to an FT60 that's equipped with an aftermarket antenna. This does nothing to improve the performance of the antenna or the performance of the radio, although it may help a little bit with weatherproofing. Um, it's just to address something that, well, bugs me. It might bug some of you guys out there. I know I've heard other people comment about it, um, and that is the gap that uh, occurs when you attach an aftermarket antenna to the FT60. And the per reason for that gap comes all the way down to the design of the antenna. It has nothing to do with the, uh, the connector being uh, too short or too long or um, the actual connectors or connection on the antenna being too long or too short. It's merely the way the antenna is designed. And I can point that out by showing you the FT70. If you look at the FT70, the antenna nestles in there nicely. It looks like it's a factory piece of equipment. And that's merely because of the way the antenna connection is designed uh, where the chassis interfaces with the body of the radio. And the best way to prove this point out is to show you the actual antenna designs for the two different radios. The FT70, as you can see, the rubber coating on the antenna extends just to the bottom and no further. So it's a flush mounted design, just like the diamond antenna. The bottom is a flush mounted design. However, the Yaesu FT60 if you see here, if you look into the uh, where the, the bottom of the antenna is, you'll see about a quarter inch of rubber skirting that extends beyond that. That's actually what covers up all of this mess right here when you have the factory antenna plugged in. Everything's still the same in terms of connection. The only thing missing on this antenna is the rubber skirting. And I can point that out by just merely putting an FT70 antenna on the FT60. And you'll see that it too when it's threaded all the way down, presents the same gap, okay? So the way around this, and I, I've, I've seen people try a number of different things. They've tried uh, uh, rubber washers, rubber grommets, um, things that fit over the actual connection here. And the thing you're gonna run into there is this does sit fairly high. Um, and let me pull the FT70 off real quick. And as you can see, this sits well above the body of the radio where the FT70 is tucked down in and, and you've got a nice built up area here for all of that, the antenna to fit flush with the, uh, the chassis of the radio. So if you try to put a washer on here, even the washer is still going to be above there uh, because you've at the, at the bottom point, unless you can get around that nut, um, I imagine you could and I, I fiddled with this, and, and I, my results have not been very good. I've tried cutting the flats out to fit the, the nut. That didn't work. But what I decided to do instead was to try to duplicate this rubber skirting effect with the uh, FT60. And what I discovered um, was I was at Harbor Freight, and I was looking at this box of ceiling washers. And I had been thinking before that of using something, some kind of rubber line, uh, but I couldn't find anything that had a thin enough wall. But I was looking at these, and within this box, it's 141 pieces, but the whole thing I think cost like four bucks. Uh, it was very inexpensive, but in there I found some of these. And it's just about perfect, so I thought I'd give it a try, and I'll be darned if it didn't actually work. And within the box, what you're looking at here, is the one right there. Uh, it's five pieces, it's 10.5 by 14 by four millimeter, and it's located right in that receptacle right there. So what I'll show you, I'll show you what I did. All you need to do is just fit this over the bottom of the antenna, just like so. When I did it first, I actually tried to fit it within this area here, um, but in the uh, the act of screwing the antenna down, basically it just did that. It just fit around the antenna. So uh, I found the best way to do this actually in duplicating it was to put it on the antenna first, thread the antenna down, and just simply run it down to where it's flush. And now the gap is gone, and you have a little bit of extra weather protection that's going to keep... Um, fluids from getting down into that channel 
It'll allow the fluids to flow off and uh, again, provide you with a little bit of upgraded weather protection. It's something, um, but the, the greatest effect is I no longer have the goofy gap. I don't have to deal with that anymore. So I just thought they'd throw, throw this out there as just a quickie for you fellow FT60 uh, users and something you can try. Like I said, uh, this is a Harbor Freight product um, and I think Harbor Freights are nationwide. And it's item number 67552. And about four bucks. You get five of those. Get your uh, friends to all throw a buck in. You can go down there and you can set up five FT60s. And then what you do with the rest of the washers is completely up to you. I'm sure you can find something creative uh, to use them for later on down the road. So with that, I'll go ahead and bring it to a close. Say 73s. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. This is Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee. And I am clear.